Ever since I bought an M1 Mac, I've wanted to compare the performance of different forms of emulation for the ARM architecture. So far, I've only found one game that will run in every emulator, that being Pathfinder Kingmaker. Here I will compare how well the different solutions perform. For today's testing, I am using a 16GB M1 MacBook Air with an 8-core GPU. Despite early benchmarks showing a close gap between the different M1 platforms, the reality is that the MacBook Air performs worse than the other Macs and games. I'm attempting to come up with some inexpensive cooling solutions to compensate for the Air's lack of active cooling. In the meantime, here are the results without any extra cooling or other compensation. For the first test, I used the Intel Mac native version of the game. As you will see in a few moments, frame rates were at a consistent 45 frames per second at a resolution of 1440x900p with medium settings. I have used these settings throughout these tests to ensure consistency. Please forgive the lack of game audio in these tests, but it was necessary to use QuickTime to record the footage. QuickTime does not natively support audio capture during screen recording, and the existing workarounds are inconsistent. The save file I have selected here is an early unmodded save. Unfortunately, it is not possible to apply mods to the Mac native port of the game due to a lack of 32-bit support. In earlier versions of macOS, it was quite possible to use these mods, but that is no longer true. Likewise, Rosetta 2 lacks support for the necessary 32-bit mono libraries that are needed by the Unity Mod Manager. As such, I had to start a new game and play through a battle scene early in the game's narrative. Here, the party has arrived at a fort on the frontier and is about to encounter some bandits. The dangers don't frighten me. Stand down. Tear them apart! <laughs> You offend me! Here I'm testing Crossover. 
As you'll see, frame rates are not as good as Rosetta 2, though still quite playable. Again, settings are medium at 900p. It should be noted, however, that this particular battle involves more screen effects and combatants than for the previous fight. We should move. Where to now? Ready and willing. This awaits us. My skills are absolute. Unworthy. Es 
You should have run. Cannot hide from me. Next up is Parallel's performance. As you'll see, it's quite poor, though I was not able to catch exact frame rates. Subjectively speaking, they seem to be at 10 to 20 FPS with significant stutter. This is a recap of the first battle at the trading post with bandits. Despite being less demanding than the last battle, performance is significantly lower. Since this is not a demanding action game, it's still quite playable at these frame rates, but it's still an unpleasant experience. Normally when faced with performance like this, I would lower the settings, but in order to keep things consistent, I've kept the settings the same. As you've probably seen by now, Rosetta is a clear winner. However, it does not offer the ability to use mods in this particular game. Since Crossover offers the ability to use mods in this particular game, it's my preference for Pathfinder. However, I've found Crossover to be compatible with relatively few games.
In conclusion, Rosetta 2 seems the clear winner at 45 FPS. Crossover remains quite playable at 900p medium and offers compatibility with mods. With stuttery performance, Parallel seems to have little to recommend it. I will note that Parallel seems to offer a superior level of compatibility with Windows games at the price of performance.